<laughs> Can't help. Yeah. What she said. Mm. Hey there! Welcome back to Two Real Chicks. I'm Carla. Cindy. And we're so glad that you joined us today. And we have something really fun today for you too. Swoozy Bird is a wonderful YouTuber. She is just fun, delightful, and we really enjoy her. So Swoozy Bird recently did a tag about things you purchased just for the packaging because they looked pretty. Sounds legit. And who among us can resist something pretty? You take makeup and then you put it in a pretty package, you got a win-win, right? Totally. What's there to dislike? Not a dang thing. Pretty makeup in a pretty package, and then you add some sparkles to it, and we're suckers for it for sure. Now, when Spoozy first asked us to participate in this tag, I thought, love to, but I don't really have that much that I fell for the packaging on. I was wrong. So we're going to show you today some of the things that I just thought were so pretty that I just couldn't pass them up. Well, since Cindy doesn't really fall for packaging, and I didn't think I did, but turns out I did, Cindy's going to be Vanna White for us today. Da, 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 da. The pink hearts from Too Faced, the chocolate bonbons palette. You have this beautiful little pink tin, and it's got hearts on the outside. And then you open it up, and it's got hearts on the inside. Makeup, pink, hearts. How can you pass that up? Now, it does have some really pretty colors in it. I will say that it's got some shades in here. Thank you, Vanna. You it's got some shades in here that I don't have in other collections or in other palettes. So it does actually come in handy at times, especially this real pretty pink right there. And then this kind of plummy shade right there. And I really find myself using that one. I think that is molasses chip. So I do use that one a lot. And I do like it, but I will say this about it. I use it because I have it. I don't have it because I thought I was actually going to use it. It was for the pink and the hearts. What can she say? This one. Oh yeah. Dun, 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 dun. Urban Decay Power of Oz Glenda palette. Now look at the box. The box is pretty, right? And then look at the back of the box. Oh, you've even got Glenda the Good Witch. She just looks so pretty. But then open it up. Ooh. And you have this gorgeous metal palette that comes with a lippy. And it just has a prism effect to it. The colors are magical. They do indeed look like the Wizard of Oz. And wait till you open it up. <gasps> oh my look goodness. Look at that. And the colors in the pans match the prism effect colors on the outside of the metal package. Beautiful. So you just have this whole magical thing going on and they are just stunning. They I are pretty. I don't think they come out. I was hoping I could steal one, but never mind. Get your hand off there. It is just stunning. It's Urban Decay. I would like to tell you what it looks like on, but I can't because I've never used it. I was gonna ask you about that. That is so sad. But I looked at it, and between the packaging and between the shades, I just thought, man, that is a magical palette that will make me look as good as Glenda looks on the back, right? She's a blonde. She's a blonde yeah. Right? Mm, yeah, there you are. Sure, that'll work. Yeah. Yeah. It's Lip a tube of lipstick, not a magic wand, okay? Ooh. Also something that's not been used. This is by the brand number seven. And I'm a sucker for anything British or anything from the UK. And number seven is a brand from the UK that I was dying to try. And these tins are almost identical to the yeah, naked yeah. palettes. Yes. And so I fell for it because it looked like the naked palette. And on the inside, it looks like the naked palette too. And I'm sure they're beautiful, but the plastic is still on the shades. They, they do look really they pretty are though. very pretty. And they do look a lot like the Rose Gold Naked 3. And so I think once I ever get around to using them, I think they'll be beautiful. But I'll admit, I bought it because the packaging looked like the Urban Decay Naked palettes and I just thought it was beautiful and that and it was British and I had to try it. Even the packaging is rose gold. I mean, who doesn't love rose gold? That's so hot right now. It totally is. Let's talk about 
these. Dum -da -da dum I am a sucker for anything animal print. I have animal print shoes, animal print clothing, animal print handbags, animal print accessories, necklaces, scarves. I even have animal print underwear, bras, <gasps> and panties in animal print. And I particularly love cheetah print. So these came in a bundle and I thought they would be awesome. I thought that the containers would be metal. They're not, they're plastic. The shades inside look pretty. But once again, I haven't tried any of them because I bought them solely because I thought this packaging was just so cool. Can you tell I like patterns and prints and things in gold and sparkly? It's not even a name brand. Here's how non-name brand it is. Lipstick color. <laughs> That's what it's called. I just thought they looked really cool, so I had to have them. Have I used them? Nope. But they look pretty on her dresser. Since we're on lipsticks, I am in love with this. I can totally understand why you bought this. It's gorgeous. Is that not stunning? This is by Models Prefer. It comes in a pewter-like container that has ornate scroll work on it. It has cabochon crystals. That thing is heavy as all heck, too. It's actually heavier than these palettes are. It is heavy. It is a very solid, sturdy packaging. Show them the pretty crystals on the there. The Swarovski crystals. Are those not, and they're cabochons, are those not stunning? And can you see the ornate scroll work in there? It is just beautiful. I saw it and it just looked like royalty to me. And they're actually from the Royal Collection. And this particular color that I got Look at that. It looks like diamonds. It's beautiful. Inside the lipstick. It just sparkles. How can you even use this? I haven't. It's too pretty to mess up. And I do feel like royalty having it. Smell it. Oh, it smells like vanilla sugar. Yes. Oh my goodness. The name of this particular one is Crowning Coral. There's no proper way to really describe this. Except gorgeous. Except gorgeous. One of these days I'm going to break down and use it, but I am just savoring and saving it because it's just so lush. It's so rich. It's so elegant. There are not enough adverbs and adjectives to describe how posh this truly is. And even if I never use it, I will say honestly that this one I don't regret getting. That's just stunning. Don't regret that one for a minute. Nope, 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 nope. I may have to try to find it myself. I can't tell you not to buy that one. Let's talk about this. This is a lovely case from Ulta, and I will admit the makeup that's inside is very nice. I can't give you a review because I've never used it. But the makeup inside, oh, coupons. 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 Oh, girl, let's see. $5 off from Ulta. Probably expired. No, $325.17. Score! So we have a coupon in there. And on the inside, you have everything you could possibly need. I do think it'll be great for traveling. But I'm going to be honest, the product is not what appealed to me. If I had seen all of these separately, there's no way I would have purchased all of these individually. What got me was this gold and burgundy outer case. Doesn't that look lush? It does. Very nice. I mean, and you don't see metallic burgundy very often. I just thought it was pretty and I wanted it. Therefore, I got it. I will be traveling soon, so maybe I'll take this on vacation with me just so I can justify the purchase. Good job. I saved the very best for last. This is the piece de resistance. This is the Pure Minerals Disney Cinderella Collection, and it just looks like a fairy princess. It's like a little wardrobe, like a little chest of drawers. So you have Cinderella out here, and then you open it up, and you've got the Magic Coach mirror, and then you have these gorgeous shades. You open up this little drawer, and you've got a lip palette down there, and do they not look like princess shades? You open it back up, and you've got these gorgeous pinks and purples and plums. It's got ornate gold script all around it. It's got scroll work. It's got beautiful Cinderella, and then you close it back up, and you've got the butterfly. So between the butterfly 
and this pumpkin turned into a carriage coach mirror, I fell for this hook, line, and sinker. And if you take this one and this one, both of these are magic fairy princesses. You have Glenda, who was the beautiful blonde princess. And of course, you have Cinderella, the beautiful blonde princess. And I think these took me back to my childhood. I think they might have. Because I loved Cinderella as a child. And I loved the Wizard of Oz, especially Glenda, because she was the good witch. And she was so pretty. I think that I honestly thought that if I used these, that I would look and feel like a princess too. I can't say that I regret buying these because they made me happy. Well, there you go. And if a little purchase of makeup makes you happy, go for it, honey. Exactly. Those are the products that suckered me in solely because of their pretty packaging. And can you blame me when you see them, really? No, no, not at all. I can totally get it. We all want to look pretty. We all want to feel pretty. And then when you put pretty makeup in a pretty package, what's a girl to do? Buy it. Yeah, so I did. Now, Swoozy has some really cool ones. She sure we can. will link Swoozy's video in her tag below because man she had some cool packaging. Unique things that I've never seen uh -huh. anything like before. You will be fascinated and blown away just by the things that she found because they are so unique and yeah, we're both a little jealous, Swoozy, of that fantastic collection that you have. So go check out her video. We'll link it down below. And while you're down below, why don't you leave us a comment, let us know what you're interested in, and maybe what you might have purchased. And we have this little red box that says subscribe. We would love for you to click that box, and there's a little bell beside it. And that little bell is going to let you know every time we upload a video. We upload videos at least once a week, usually twice, but we guarantee once every week, and you just never know what we're gonna talk about. And if you're a YouTuber, consider yourself tagged. Make a video and let us know, that's right, tag you're it. Let us know what you fell for the packaging on and join us in this fun tag that we've had a blast with. So with that, we say thanks so much for keeping us company. We always enjoy spending time with you. I'm Carla. I'm Cindy. We're Two Real Chicks. Bye. We love you. And let us know that you're making that video. <laughs> Is there a ghost in the house? <laughs> Actually, yes, there is. Lord have mercy. Okay. All right, that's going in the blooper reel.